most of us tend to think of the earliest days of the Oregon story reaching back to the rough and ready pioneer life when wagon trains crossed the great prairies on their way to Oregon's Willamette Valley. While those folks were certainly hardy, there's another story that reaches much, much further back. Hi there, I'm Grant McComey, your host for Travel Oregon's Grant's Getaways. And this week, we meet a man who can take a block of cedar and an ancient tool called an adze and create something magical that reaches back thousands of years to tell a unique Oregon story. Come on along as we meet Jim Bergeron, who keeps tradition alive. Tip it down a little bit more. Sharp tools are critical to keeping some traditions alive. There you go. So is learning how to use them. Once you've learned how to do it, it's like riding a bicycle. It's really easy, but until you get there, it's not easy. Jim Bergeron is a rare teacher of Native American wood carving techniques that span the centuries. His students come from all over to learn from a master who creates cedar bent wood boxes. This is a size they would call a blanket box. Just storage, yeah. Ceremonial masks. She catches the kids and hauls them off to her cave and eats them. And alder bowls, each piece carved in the traditional Chinook Indian style. The craft requires patience and attention to detail. There's thicknesses on the, the eyebrows, uh, the style of the eyes. There's quite a bit into it. There's a lot of subtle little things that make it. It's like gardening. It's very zen. And it's the only thing that's really sitting here before you. And you just forget about everything else in the world. And it's just about the piece. Looks like your carving is about done. Your painting, it's just you know? about done, yeah. It's, uh, we're just going to paint it and that's it. Yeah, cool. Salmon? Salmon. Dog salmon. The classroom is open to any and all who travel to Astoria and step inside the new Barbie Maritime Center. It's a place steeped in history, too. Once the Astoria Train Depot, it was built along the town's waterfront more than 120 years ago. Its next-door neighbor is the must-see Columbia River Maritime Museum, where real native artifacts can be seen. So many of the objects that we have in the collection are, um, you know, truly that. They're, they're the original artifact found on the side of the river from an archaeological site. There are very few opportunities where you can learn from an instructor like Jim, who spent his entire career learning how to use these tools and the materials and to get that experience. Jim's studio bears out that he's been teaching native skills for nearly 40 years. Scores of handcrafted adzes hang from the rafters, and his finished carvings are a marvel to see and touch, from monumental masks to a plate-sized shark mask worn in ceremonies too, and practical tools, a fishing spear of alder and bone. And you spear over the back of the fish, and then the fish can't get off. See, this has a salmon trout head in it. If you wanted to put one of those in there, see, you could put that in there. Back in the classroom, Bergeron hopes his enthusiasm for keeping tradition alive is catching, and more people find beauty in the wood and value holding on to Oregon's past. It's something that was here for years and years, so I like to think it's a little bit of local history, really. Jim says his favorite woods to work with include red cedar, alder, and especially cascara. And get this, nearly four decades of work and those razor sharp tools, he has never cut himself. It is amazing to watch him work. We have all the details, directions, and the contact information so you can reach out to Jim Bergeron and the Columbia River Maritime Museum right here on the Travel Oregon website. So be sure to check it out. Until next week, do get out here and explore the great Oregon outdoors. Let Travel Oregon be your guide. For Travel Oregon, I'm Grant McComey.